Welcome back friends, my name is Zephyr, and in today's stream we're going to be continuing our second playthrough of some Final Fantasy VIII goodness here. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right back into it. Alright. Hope you all are having a phenomenal day, a spectacular day, a wonderful day. Because I'm excited to play some Final Fantasy VIII today. Alright. Let's see, what should we do first? Oh my goodness. Ooh, there's still a couple cards. I want to get a Balam Garden before we head to Timber. You know what I also want to do? I think I just want to jump straight for Diablos. I think he'll whoop our butt. But I think going straight for Diablos is going to be worth it. It's such a good GF to have. And if anything, I'm a little regretful in my last playthrough. Well, my first playthrough. Which was also my last playthrough. I'm a little regretful on my last playthrough. I didn't get him earlier. I just didn't know what was in there. All right. Obviously, we just saved. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into him. All right. We want to draw Demi from him and then cast it back. I like. All right. And if you guys have not done so already, please be sure to smash that follow button. It really helps me out a ton. And to make sure you don't miss any of the cinematic goodness coming up. All right. Demi, yes. Oh, selfie. Oh my goodness. Is that, oh my goodness. Okay, we're already off, off to a rough start. If there's one thing I'm terrible at, it's like planning beforehand. All right. <laughs> oh man, Selfie and Zell. Selfie's got nothing. Zell at least I think could heal, right? He's got cure, yeah. Okay. Alright, we got three demis. Selfie, I guess we'll just have you attack. Zell, you're gonna have to be our healer, man. Alright, let's see here. Man, how do I always forget to check the menu and make sure they all have their GFs equipped? Okay. Squall's at least starting the Demi train. Let's get it going. He seems to only do it one at a time, too. I thought he did Ravija, which does like everyone. I'm not complaining. All right, Demi. And then I think he casts Kiraga on us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's Gravesia. Okay. Okay, we're gonna want some cure magic for sure. Oh yeah, getting that 35, 36 attack in. You go, selfie. Four, okay. I'll take it. I wonder if he will uh, only cure Squall. It seems to be that way. Like, Squall will use Demi. Nobody else seems to be getting healed. Let's see here. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. Getting weaker and weaker. All right. What is Gravisa? Ooh, okay. Cure time. Ooh, selfie, what do you got? Do over, do over, do over, do over. Thundara, sure. Oh! Okay, then. He's pissed. Oh, no! He's pissed. My goodness, okay. Good morning, King. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Having a fantastic day? I hope so. 
trying to get Diablo right away before I really start anything else. Let's see, I think we're gonna get him though. He's getting pretty weak. Ooh. Okay. It's working away. Did you start a new playthrough? Yeah, I started my second playthrough yesterday. Oh, if he attacks me, I'm dead. Yeah, I just started my second playthrough yesterday. Oh, he's gonna cure us there. Okay. We should have read the stream title. How do you like the end? No, you're good, man. You're good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did like the ending quite a bit. It was... It was pretty cool. It was pretty... There was a lot to think about. There was a lot of visual stuff going on. But it was really cool. I liked it a lot. Ultimicia was an awesome final boss. She was tough. Like, I don't know if, if maybe I just wasn't doing the right strategy or I was pretty, felt pretty underleveled. I think I was only like level 40 for Squall and like 30 and below for everyone else. So I felt a little underleveled. So that might've been why she whooped me so hard, but finally beat her and it was good. It was a good feeling. I feel like I didn't see much from the ending. It was more of a like left to interpretation kind of style, you know? Final Fantasy games seem to like to do that a lot. Oh, 287. I think he might still be alive. Ravija. Okay. Alright, if he hits me one physical attack, I am dead. Oh, shit. Oh, no! No! Oh! Ow! I was so close to using Renzo on him. Ooh, I was close. It's all good. All good. Round two. Maybe I'll actually equip Selfie with some magic this time. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I even gave Selfie all of Quistus's. No, I gave Zell all of. Oh no, didn't I? Okay. So we'll give Zell all of Quistus's magic. I just gotta remember to equip Selfie. Okay. Quistus has Quizzicado. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm understanding things here. And... But aside from that, how are you doing? Having a pretty decent day so far? Just working today? Anything exciting going on in work life, personal life, gaming life? Playing any cool games though? Let's see here. Card, vitality, HP, life magic. Okay. Now we all got We all got items, right? Actually, Zell. Oh, but I don't have life magic. So having that for Phoenix sounds on one person. Seems like it'd be a smart idea. And then these two can have draw. Alright, alright. It could work, it could work. Let's see here. I'm gonna save real quick and then we're going for round two with him. I almost had him. If I could have got that Renzo off, he would have been. He would have been out of here. Oh, I love the design of him though. He looks so cool. Who dares disturb my sleep? I do. Oh. Okay, then, Squall. Let's see. Overall, pretty good. Played a good amount of Fallout 76 this weekend. Cool. Loved up a lot due to the 2 XF XP the past few days. Thinking about starting up a new Final Fantasy playthrough. Not sure which one to start with. There's so many good ones. There's so many good ones. Due to double XP. Do they have, like, events in Fallout somehow where they activate double XP? Because if so, that's super interesting. I remember when I played um, Pokemon Go quite a bit. Interesting. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I remember playing Pokemon Go and they would like activate double XP and stuff like that too. So that's pretty cool. So they can just turn stuff on and on at any time. I have lit. When I say I've never played on like online online games, I really mean like never play. I think I played Halo 2 for a little bit. 
back in the day, but like online, online kind of multiplayer stuff, I'm super, super ignorant about. I don't know much about. But that sounds like really cool though. That'd be a cool way to kind of spruce things up, excite some people. That'd be pretty cool. Plus it gets people playing your game more, you know? You get them excited about it. So does Fallout 76, is there like some kind of a, uh, like sto there has to be some kind of story lore obviously behind it, right? So how does it work with like online playing? Do you just kind of log in and there's like hundreds or thousands of other, not NPCs, but other people playing in the world? Is it pretty similar to Final Fantasy 14? So they think 14 is like an MMO, right? If I'm being honest, everyone is tempting me to try 14. I really might have to try 14 one of these days. I think the thing is like, I guess I'm not, I mean, I'm pretty social and like, obviously, you know, like talking to people and stuff, seeing how y'all are doing. But I don't know, sometimes I like to play video game single player mode, you know? That's what I'm most comfortable with, the single player mode kind of video games. So I guess I would just be a little lost. Maybe lost in something like 14 or, or any of those other games. I guess you just gotta learn it though, right? You just gotta learn it. I like learning new things. Oh no! Oh, oh, what? I was not, what? Oh my gosh, okay. I feel like I blinked and missed it, okay. Wow, okay. I feel like I blinked and I missed that one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get him though. We're not going down without a fight. I'm getting Diablos. Hmm. There's a pretty cool story that goes along with 76, and since they added NPCs with their latest update, it makes it much easier to follow and understand. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Is it like a Fallout? Is it like after nuclear bombs go off and like the apocalypse after? It's multiplayer, but for me, it plays a lot like a single player game. Game. You hardly run across other players. Maybe because the world's so big. So is the whole, what's the, the story of Fallout and like a, like a condensed version? Is it, is it something like the apocalypse just happened or like countries set off nuclear weapons, humanity is scattered kind of thing and you got to survive? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. We've all, we've all had thoughts of that. Like what if one day, what if one day nuclear stuff happens? Like what would that be like? It'd be scary is what it would be. Let's see, Selfie, I'm gonna give you Siren. Man, I don't even know what I would do when something like that were to happen. What do you do? Go to the grocery store and hoard as much food as possible? Maybe. You know, I, I mean, I'll, honestly, I'm not like a, a religious person at all or anything, but I feel like if something like that were to happen, that would be the time where having like a religious community or just some kind of bigger community of people, hopefully, would come in handy. I have no idea though. That could totally not even be what it's about, right? Am I just like spitballing out of nothing? Oh my gosh, did I seriously not? Oh god. What the heck? How do I keep doing this? No, you're on the right path. Did I still not draw any? I seem to uh, really struggle with equipping my characters with their abil their command abilities. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. Want to become famous. Maybe one day, but in the right way, Bode Pierce, so... Not interested in buying no followers. <laughs> no 
Oh goodness. The bots are coming out. My goodness, Squall. My goodness, Squall, you can't draw nothing. We ain't gonna beat him if you can't draw Demi. Holy crap, Squall. What are you doing, man? Dude. Squall. What in the heck? What the heck? Squall, what? Why can you not draw anything? Oh boy, and Zell's down. And I don't have Cure Magic. Man, okay. Mm, this might not be the this might not be the round right here. I can't even draw any demi for some stupid reason. What in the world is going on? Squall, my man! Why can you not draw any demi? Let's see. It takes place after the bomb drops. And you have to make your way across the wasteland surviving. There's a ton of quests, looting, leveling up skills, weapons, armor. You should try it out sometime. It sounds really interesting. That is... Man. The story that that could be. Yeah, I think I tried Fallout... I was Fallout 3 years ago. My goodness, Diablos is just destroying me here. I think I tried Fallout 3 years ago. And for some reason... If I can remember, it was like underground in some bunker where you start out. And I think I only played for like an hour or so. I don't even know if I got to the surface on it. I think when you get in those games, the same thing happened when I played uh, Skyrim. I guess maybe I just like wasn't prepared for how big of a game it was. So I only played like the first hour and then never went back to it. So I think I just got to like brace myself for an epic game, you know? All right, if I go in again and nobody's got magic or abilities equipped, there will be hell to pay. All right, let's see. Siren. Abilities. Okay, she's got her abilities. Let's see. But in terms of like a... Yeah, pretty much think Skyrim, but nuclear apocalypse. Dude, that could be... That could be cool. In like a very depressing kind of way, that could be cool. You know what I mean. If you were gonna stream a Final Fantasy game, is there one particular one that you are kind of itching to try out again? Like, do you wanna play like a brand new one you've never played before? Or do you wanna play one that you're pretty familiar with? All right, Balan. I was thinking about starting up 10, possibly. Ooh, 10 is one of the best ones, hands down. So you haven't played that one for a while. 10 is awesome. There's a lot to do in 10, too. 10, too. There's a lot to do in Final Fantasy 10. A lot of side quests, a lot of weapons to get. The world is probably my favorite... I was, I was saying this in, I think, my one of my other streams. It's probably, like, my favorite video game world of any Final Fantasy. Or maybe even any video game. The world in 10 is just outstanding. Squall, my man. My man, why can you not draw anything? Yeah, the only, the only world, like, world living in, I probably enjoy maybe just a little bit more. Probably be, like, Breath of the Wild. But yeah, the world of Final Fantasy X is stellar. Have you fought the Dark Aeons in X? So, when I got my PS4 remastered version of it, I tried to do like a full complete playthrough of X. Oh no! Of course Zell just goes down like that. Man, um, but yes, I, I did challenge the Dark Aeons. I tried to defeat Valifor, I think, and then I, I couldn't end up beating Valifor. So I had, I had to do the Yojimbo trick. So technically, yes, I have defeated all of the Dark Aeons and Penance, but I had to pay for it. 
Yeah, so not really, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So my first time fighting Diablos here, like 20 minutes ago, I was able to draw like 10 Demi. Now Squall can't draw a single one. What the heck, dude? Don't make me level, have to level you up to, to draw some. So, yeah. I think it was, dude, the, the Dark Aeons are like such a massive leap in, in difficulty, I feel like. Like, even at the very end of the game, like, I went through the entire game, pretty much everything except fought Sen. But, like, the Dark Aeons are just... They're not super bosses. They're, like, super, super bosses. And then Penance is just, like, one-shot kill everything always. Okay. Squall. My man. I guess... I'm just gonna keep trying because Diablos is so good. I gotta get him. I gotta get him right at the start. So we're getting Diablos, and then we'll worry what comes after. <laughs> Have you defeated the Dark Aeons though? And Penance? Who dares disturb my sleep? Man, you're useless, Squall. I need the Demi if we're gonna defeat him. Man, this is insanity. Your insanity, Squall. Okay. Come on, Selfie. Come on, Selfie. Squall, dude. Dude, Squall. What the heck? Wait, wait, wait. And then he goes crazy on me. Man, I was drawing so many of these at the beginning. Why is he being, why is Squall being like this? Yes, holy hallelujah, we got some. We got two. I need more than two, Squall. We need at least like five. Oh my goodness. Maybe Selfie, I highly doubt it, but maybe we can try, see if Selfie can draw some. Oh no, don't be attacking. Squall, my man. What do you got? I played 10 a ton back in the day, but it was just the North American version without the Dark Aeons. Same. I got the remastered version of years back and could not beat them for the life of me. Okay, I'm happy it's not just me then. They have such a spike in difficulty, I feel like. They are hard. They're, they, like, every attack does, like, 10,000 damage. They're super fast, so they get, like, multiple moves. Yeah, it, they're... They're tough. They're really tough. Oh, my goodness. Or he's, uh, I missed a sigil or a crest and went back to grab it, but Dark Bomb, it was in the way. Oh, yes, I know exactly. I think that was at, um, Xanarkin, right? I think I did the exact same thing my first playthrough. Literally that exact same thing. I missed it and went back. And he was standing right there, and I'm like, Oh, no. Yeah. I think I, I, I went into the fight, too, thinking I could take him, and then he, like, he literally one-shotted my whole party with the, the black orbs that, like, attack everyone. Oh, yeah. Like, I guess we're not getting that right now. Come on, Squall, dude, you. Saying Squall is failing me is a vast understatement. Squall. Okay. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, we got some. We got two. We got two. Okay, we're gonna, maybe we'll try it with two. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Diablos. Holy crap. Okay. Mm. It's Squall. It's Squall. Squall is, uh, Squall's killing me. You're not drawn. You're killing me, Squall. 
All right, let's give maybe a couple cure to Selfie. I think she really needs it. Pretty much just have to have Cell and Selfie heal, and then try to draw as many Demis as possible. We got it. We got this. I feel it. Let's see. Yeah, when I was battling, uh... When I was battling Ultimacia, I think it took me like seven times. Seven times. It was a tough battle. I disturb your sleep, and I want your gravity magic. Not like that. Come on, Squall. We got this, we got this. Let's see, is Final Fantasy X your favorite Final Fantasy King? Like your number one? We got some! We got one! No, I need more than one, Squall. Ugh. Oh my goodness, okay. Cure time, cure time, cure time. Yep, saw that happening. Let's see. Come on, Squall. Come on, Squall. Come on, Squall. Oh, not that one. Demi, Demi, come on, come on, got this. No, you don't got this. Mm. You know, now that I've, I've been thinking about it, I think Final Fantasy X might have the biggest difficulty jump in terms of super bosses. Because at least I feel like when I play Seven, or I play... I haven't I haven't challenged the super bosses in eight really much, but in like seven, ruby weapon, emerald weapon, like they're not that difficult. Nine, I I didn't think Ozma was that difficult. I defeated Ozma I think on my first try. Uh, Twelve, like Ultima, and then whatever the other one was. But yeah, ten Dark Aeons are no joke. They're really tough. Oh my goodness. Okay. See, yeah, man, <laughs> you're right. Did any Final Fantasy before 10 have the break damage limit? No, I definitely remember 10 was the first one that had over 9,999, at least that I'm aware of. And I remember seeing it like go over 10,000. I was like, what is going on? Holy crap, we can break that? Oh yeah, I remember freaking out as a kid. <laughs> Something so small. We're at least staying in this. Squall. We're literally, you are killing us, dude. You need to draw some Demi. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, in terms of, like, super bosses, though, like, I'm trying to think of any Final Fantasy that had, like, super, super difficult ones. And nothing I can really think of is harder than 10. That was something, honestly, that really did frustrate me about 10. I, I felt like the, the super bosses were, at least for me, the amount of grinding and leveling up needed to be able to face them just felt like so much. And then a lot of the celestial weapons, too. Like, a lot of the celestial weapons would require these side quests that were... Just terrible. It felt terrible to do, you know? The Chocobo one with getting uh, Tidus' Celestial Weapon, I could never do that. That was a hard one. The Butterflies in Makalania Forest, the Thunderbolt Dodges. Hallelujah, Squall, my man. Thank you. 
I think we have two demis, three demis. Man, it must just be because of how low level he is, maybe. That's why it's taking so long. Eek, the lightning bolt dodge was intense. Did you ever do the lightning? Did you get all 200 dodges? Oh boy. All right, there it is. Never by myself. Did you have like a friend or someone else help you? I was almost tempted, I remember younger, asking one of my friends who played also if they could help me do it. I think I asked her and she's like, that would be cheating, you have to do it yourself. And I'm like, okay then. I mod on the P- <laughs> Oh, on the PC version. Sneaky. I mean, I mean, if there's one thing, it'd probably be that. Like, though, some of them are just so difficult. It's just like, how do you expect it? How do you expect me to do this? Some people have said there's like tricks though to the lightning bolt dodging. So, oh. Come on, Squall. Same with the jump roping in Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, there's some kind of trick or certain way you should do it that helps a ton. Alright, come on, Squall. Just get, like, two more, man. Oh, my goodness. If there's anything, if there is anything of Final Fantasy VIII I do not like, still after my first full playthrough and even parted into my second one, I really don't like the draw system. And I wouldn't even stretch that... We got one. I wouldn't even stretch that to, like, the junction system, because I actually... I like the junction system quite a bit. I just think the draw system sucks. I just wish we could get magic in some other way. I mean, we can refine it, of course. Oh! Haha! I survived! Let's see. Five! Okay, we're gonna start the demi train. We're gonna have Zell heal himself. Selfie, you're gonna heal yourself. Let's see. Are you planning on abusing the junction system? Yeah, I, I think so. I think I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive with the junction system. I'm gonna do more triple triad. I wanna get the ultimate weapons. I wanna get all of the GFs. So, I'm going ham on this one. I think my first playthrough, more towards the end, I was like, I really just kinda wanna experience the story. Card mining will really help. Yeah, a couple people have said that for sure. Yeah, I think towards the end of my first playthrough, I was just really like, I really want to see where the story goes. And I know with Final Fantasy games, with like exploring a lot of the side quest stuff, um, I know if I leave the main story too long and then come back, especially with this one, because this one seemed a little, with time travel, like, when time travel stuff and all Fate and Destiny stuff gets thrown in, like, I gotta really pay attention. Like, if I left and came back 15, 20 hours later, there would probably be stuff I'd forgotten. But I think I got a good grasp on the story. I'm excited to see a lot of the... Read the dialogue again. Kind of pay more attention. Try to, like, really pay more attention to certain things. But I'm liking it a lot, honestly. Aside from the draw system. But you know what? I think because of that... I think that's just going to give me an excuse to really try to refine more magic. I want to learn all of the refine abilities from all of the GFs and then just not really have to draw magic anymore, you know? Well, thank you. Alright, I think we can... Whoa, hello. Oh yeah. Now he's getting pissed. Now he's getting pissed. Oh, he's trying to kill Zell. All right, we got this. We got this. I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good now. We're on a roll. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh. Crap. Crap, was I just speaking about? I was doing good. I ran out of freaking demis. Oh my goodness. Now we're back to trying to get some demis. Unless maybe we could get Renzo off once or twice. Maybe we can try getting Renzo off, because he will... No! No, 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 no! Come on. No, no, no! no! Ah! Ah! Do you have blind? I do have blind. Does blind help? Does blind help? Okay, I guess we're trying blind. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was so close. I got a lot of blind. I got a lot of blind. <laughs> All right. We'll try blind. We'll see. We'll see how blind goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to like silence him from casting Demi on me a million times. All right. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna have Squall just try to spam draw Demi's. And then once we're ready to go on the the Demi Assault train, then we'll blind him. Because at least for the meantime, I can keep up with Cure Magic on Zell and Selfie. It's just all about getting those Demi's. Because he has so much health, I really need them to bring his health down. We got this. I'm feeling good. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. What do you think is the most powerful magic in the entire game? Someone was saying Meteor is the most powerful magic, but I feel like Ultima is. Like, if you could get a hundred of any spell, I feel like I'd want a hundred of Ultima, you know? Come on, Squall. What is this, like a 5% chance of drawing? Probably something like that. Come on, just get some. No! Wow, my man. Oh, okay. We're starting this. Oh, boy. Really? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't have any life magic either. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Maybe we should have done blind right at the beginning. This is what I get. This is what I get for not listening. <laughs> he seriously has not drawn one single one. Squall, my man, dude. He is literally... Squall is literally the one that will make this happen or not make this happen. And he is not making this happen right now. Not a single one. Squall, you useless. Mm. Oh, we're doing that, eh? We're doing that. Mm. Not a single one yet. I don't think he's drawn a single one. Man, am I really gonna have to wait on Diablos? Am I really gonna have to? Am I really? Oh man, he's going in for the attacks. Oh, and it missed. Missed again. He can be blinded, right? 
Not sure if Ultima or Meteor is stronger, which says Ultima has a spell power of 80, and Meteor, ha or Meteor has a spell power of 20. Yeah, I feel like whenever I'd get Meteor cast on me, it would do, like, multiples of, like, two or 300 damage. But Ultima would do, like, 2,000 damage. So I, I thought Ultima was the strongest one. Have we seriously not gotten blind on him? He, are you sure he can... You sure he can be blinded? Let's see, I think Aura is the most powerful magic for the limit breaks. Aura and Renzo, probably. He missed again. He can be blinded, eh? Or most useful, not most powerful. I mean, when combined with Renzo, probably most powerful, right? Oh, Lee crap, we got him. Holy crap. My goodness. Squall, you were useful. <laughs> 50 50 percent chance. Definitely felt like a lower lower than 50 percent. Probably just my luck. Aha! Take that. Now we can draw away, hopefully. Huh, <laughs> maybe not. Does he stay blinded the whole entire battle? I hope so. I wonder if blind wears off. Oh my goodness, we got one. We got one. And then we got none. And then we got none again. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, my man, I'm almost tempted to just screw the Demi idea and then just Renzo him. Oh my goodness, we got two Squall, you magic man. Aha. Come on, you got this Squall. You got this Squall. You got this, Squall. Man, he's like really trying to bring down Selfie. Come on, Squall. Let's get me like two more. All right, well, we did get two more, but I want more than two. Now I'm being selfish. Yeah, that blind really helps a lot. Good, uh, good idea. Oh my goodness, did he actually get some? How many do you got, Squall? You got seven, okay, we're starting the Demi Train. Oh, and Selfie, did you run out of Cure Magic? Seriously, how does that happen? Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do double on Squall, and then he'll double cast that means. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could do... Yeah. Since she doesn't have Cure Magic anymore, she might as well get in on the action. Alright. I think we got him this time. I'm feeling good. But I've said that before. Diablos is a tough fight right away. I mean, the blind helps a ton, though. All right, I think that was our last Emmy. As the blind wears off and he just destroys me. Oh, we don't have any more. Okay, so it's GF time. It is GF time. All right, come on, we got him. He's so, I know, I know he's low. I know we got him. Come on, come on. 
Bathsheba. No, really? Still? Okay, come on. We got this. All right. Yes! Too much sleep, too weak! Let's see. Didn't catch a ton of the final dungeon. Were you able to draw Alexander? I was. I was from the cattle bleepus or or whatever it was called i was able to get it and then i think i used it one time i think i used it actually against idiot or not idea ultimacia and then it ended up healing ultimacia so i didn't really get to use it a ton diablos oh yeah okay and zell's zell's out let's bring him back Ooh, that was, uh, that was tough. Diablos is a toughie. All right. Oh, yeah. And let's see. Let's get him learning. Man, there's so many good things. Diablos has so many good abilities he can learn just right away. Hmm. What should we learn? I mean, HP and hit are awesome. Mug. I never got mug. I, can, I was thinking, like, my first playthrough, like, how many items am I missing to steal by not having mug? But we should probably learn the refine abilities first so we don't have to draw magic nonstop. All right. Hallelujah. And I think what I'm going to do is go back and rest real quick. I think I mainly used mug to steal to get steel pipes or screws. Yeah, those are for their, their ultimate weapons, right? Man, I feel like I did not upgrade much of their weapons on my first playthrough. So, I think before I head out again, I think Doom Train also. Ooh, I did not get Doom Train. I'm excited for Doom Train. Gotta get Doom Train. I'm bummed at myself I didn't get Tomberry either. I think I went. I think I went past the the point of no return in eight on my first playthrough without like even realizing it so i probably would have done some extra side quest stuff and gotten the tonberry gf and especially bahamut i was bummed i didn't get bahamut i probably would have done that had i known tonberry's pretty grindy to get yeah you gotta battle a ton of tonberries yes all right triple triad time oh yeah and we got some I think we got some good cards now so uh, earlier oh he doesn't even have the one I wanted so when I was uh, playing this yesterday my wife told me afterwards she was disappointed in me that I did not get the cactar card from him so just for her we're gonna get the cactar card <laughs> all right who should we go with first who should we go with first Hmm. I think he went with this one right here. Oh, but he has a that flan that you'd probably play on it. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's just put E for it right here. Just a good, good all-around one, I think. Maybe mini mog. I don't know about that. Man, this triple triad music has no reason to be this good. It's just awesome. Aha! Ooh. Are we, wait, are we gonna draw? Oh, we did not need to draw. Hmm. Well, he didn't even have the card I wanted anyway, so... I don't even see it here either. It, it honestly is the Cactar card even a good card? Hmm. Really? Let's 
Let's see. That's a good one for this one. I think we win. Yeah! Yeah! Ba 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 ba! Alright. Ooh, who should I take? I mean, this one's Sam 08G looks pretty cool. Hmm. But this Ochu looks like it has a little bit more. Was that 11? 14. Yeah, I probably do Ochu. Alright, what you got? I was doing a little reading last night about Final Fantasy X, and I came across an article that said it was released for Android and iOS. Reading into it a little bit more, it was only re released in Japan, and the game is actually being streamed to your phone. Like how PlayStation Now works. What? Man, I remember when my, my co-worker at work told me that he had Final Fantasy VII on his phone. And I didn't believe him, and he pulled his phone over and showed me. And he was legitimately had playing Final Fantasy or seven, seven on it. And I'm like, holy crap, this was three discs. This was a three disc game back in the day. And now you can play it on your phone as though it's Angry Birds or something. Technology just amazes me. That's crazy though. Like soon we're gonna be playing Final Fantasy X on our phones. Dude, Final Fantasy X is like a gigantic game. That's crazy though, how it's like streaming straight to there. That's cool. There we go. I think we got some decent cards now. All right. I feel like I like E for it down here. It's just a good solid base. Hmm. Let's see. So many options. So many options. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay, yep. Saw that coming. So that's where... Oh, crap. Oh, damn. Okay. Ooh. I think I might have made a mistake there. Hmm. Okay, then. We're playing like that, eh? We're gonna draw. Oh, I do win. Okay. Hmm. Which one? Which one? Which one? Probably Abyss Worm? Hmm. I'm not finding Cactar, so. Ooh, but I think you were saying the Quistus card. That's the other one I wanna get. Quistus card. We're gonna try for that one. I think someone in the cafeteria has that one. Are there any other super good cards to get before we head out here from here? Man, for some reason, I thought Triple Triad was way more complex than it is. It's literally just have a higher number on the right side compared to the other person and you win. For some reason, I just thought it was way more complicated. Okay. Let's get the Quistus card. All right, the guy in the back. How about a quick game of cards? All right, I, w I hope this is him. Oh, it is, oh, whoa. Okay, yeah, that looks like a really good card. All right. Oh, and he's got a dragon, yeah. Oh, this'll be a fun one. Hmm. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna block out. I'm gonna block out Quistus. There we go. Hmm. 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 Let's see. The Cypher card is also available from Sid. Ooh. I might have to get that one. Hmm. Crap. Are we gonna draw? Draw. Hmm. Okay. 
A drive? Let's settle this next time. Let's settle this now. So, what's the best use for the cards? Should I refine them into items? Oh, he's not even using his... Oh, he's not even using his quest discard, so I can't even... Can't even take it if I want to. He's got Behemoth. I'll take a Behemoth. That looks pretty cool. The Iron Giant looks pretty cool, too. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm... Not that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you're play, planning on playing more cards, I would wait to refine them. Yeah, probably try to use them to get as many other cards, I'd assume, right? Mm. We'll go here. Five. Ooh, he's a smart player. Hmm. We draw on again. Oh, I win. Sweet. All right. Yeah, I think I want. Ooh. What do you think? What do you think, King? Should I get Behemoth or Ruby Dragon? Iron Giant looks pretty dope, too. What do you think? Behemoth, Ruby Dragon, or Iron Giant? What are you thinking? I mean, Ruby Dragon looks pretty beefy. But Behemoth looks pretty cool, too. Ooh. Mmm. Me, too. But Iron Zion is like all, all around. Hmm. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It's like really strong attack up and down. But this one's like pretty well rounded. But Behemoth's a little bit well rounded. Hmm. I don't know. You pick. You pick. And if anyone else wants to chime in their thoughts, I'm all down for, I'm all down for tips. Oh, geez. <laughs> Which one are you picking? Go Behemoth. All right. We're going Behemoth. You're good. Play me again, okay? Hmm. It's just, is it a good idea to save after each time? Hmm. How about a quick game of cards? But I can just keep going. I got this. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling... Probably feeling cocky now. <laughs> All right. Sure, we'll roll with that. Still doesn't have the Quistus card. Hmm. Probably plays it periodically. Let's see. Aha! Ooh. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's do Diablos right here. We drawn? Drawn. Man, he's tough. He's tough. I'm getting that Quistus card. We're gonna do it. Hmm. Do I want this one? Or do I want Ochu? Or Snow Lion. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do the Abyss Swarm. Aha! Oh, yeah, look at his cards. He's got some good ones. All right. I just want to take Quistus out right away. So, yeah, this is a good spot for Efrit. All right. Yeah, let's take. Oh, yeah, let's do Mog right here. That's a good one. Hmm. Maybe do behemoth. Let's 
see. Any... Oh, he could take me with that one, though. Ooh, yeah, we might have to do Diablos. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're going Diablos right here. Hmm. Yep, and then this one right here. Aha! All right, Quistus, baby. Oh, yeah. You're good. Now we'll definitely save. All right, so we got Quistus. We got to get Cypher, eh? Cypher from Sid. Man, I wonder what Quistus' card could refine into. How funny would it be if, like, the best... You can get Zell from his mom in Balm. Okay. Alright. How funny would it be if the character cards, like, mod into, like, one... Or get refined into, like, one potion or something? That'd be funny. Alright. So we gotta go find Sid, which I think he's in the front. Is he in the front? I think he's in the front. Hmm. I guess there's a save point right there. Nope, he's not. Is he upstairs? Might be on the third floor. Third floor, okay. There you are. Hey, buddy. Yes? A game of cards? Yes, sir. All right. Quistus. Yeah, I mean, I think we got some good-looking cards now. I think we got a good start. Ooh, there's there's Cypher. Who, where are you playing him? Automatic. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. Hmm. That's a good spot to play him. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, this is a good spot for Minimog. Hmm. Let's do right. Diablos right here. All right, I think we got this. I think we got this. Yeah! 14 has triple triad, by the way. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Cypher. Yeah, I'm tempted. I'm real tempted to get 14. So, it's it's completely online. So you got you got to give it a try. Man, everyone is telling tell me I got to. Because, I mean, I love Final Fantasy. And I love Final Fantasy not even just for the stories, but the world. The Chocobos, the Tonberries, the Marlboros, you know, Bahamut, Ifrit, Shiva, like the, the core commonalities of every single world. I love it. I love the Final Fantasy world. It's an, just an awesome gaming franchise. So if Final Fantasy XIV is essentially that, just in an open world, and then you can talk to other people if you want. Might be my cup of tea. It might be my cup of tea. I think when you buy it, it gives you a month free. Ooh. Oh man, as if, as if it couldn't be any more tempting. But then you have to, yeah, you probably have to. Do you pay for like a Final Fantasy tr trial online thing, or do you pay for PlayStation, the PlayStation online thing? Do you need both? Do you need like a Final Fantasy online and a PlayStation online, or is it just it's through Square Enix? Someone said in a couple of videos ago, or in a couple of streams ago, that 14 is the uh, the cash cow for Square Enix. I see how. Ooh, actually, not through Square. It was it through PlayStation? Well, I think we got some awesome cards here, and it only it only, it took me like five times of playing and. I dig Triple Triad. On PS4, I don't know if you need PS Plus to be able to play. Hmm. I might have to do more research on that. Yeah, because everyone's telling me it's awesome. And I've never tried online games, so it's like... 
what what better one to start with, I guess, right? All right, Balam. The city of Balam. The town of Balam. It's not really much of a city, more of a town. All right. Yeah, and I got Quistus and Cypher. Yeah, these are like two super good cards, right? Yeah. So is A like a 10? Is A like automatic? Is that the highest, like the best of the best number on the card? I'm guessing A is automatic, right? Like no matter what you place it over, it's gonna win. I'm guessing A stands for automatic. Mini Mog. Cool, cool. All right, let's just check our GF abilities, make sure we're learning some good stuff. Card mod, we definitely would want that. Would you be getting it for PS4? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I have my PS4 right now. I'm still rocking, I'm still rocking launch day PS4, baby. Launch day PS4. And it's holding up solid. Had this thing since, what, 2013? Yeah. I was tempted. I was really tempted to buy a pro. I was really tempted to buy a pro, but I'm like, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna buy launched APS5. I know it. I know myself. I know I'm getting launched APS5. Have you seen? Oh my goodness. Have you seen the Unreal 5 uh, graphics showcase they did a couple days ago? It was incredible running live on a PS5. I mean, even if it's like 80% of that, the detail and like the sand, A means ace, which is basically a 10, cool. Yeah, the detail in the Unreal 5 showcase was incredible, it was just incredible. There was multiple moments where I was like, had my mouth just drops down. And then it was, it was when she like started flying through the city or whatever. Yeah, I just, freaked out. I'm like, holy, this literally feels next gen. This feels like next gen technology. Mom, home. Zell, what a surprise. Are these your friends? This is my house, but don't make yourselves too comfortable. All right, Mama Z. Take care of Z for me. Hmm. Do we gotta wait later on before we challenge her to some triple triad? issue of timber maniacs not yes oh, okay yes have you improved your game I have man oh. cypher quist yeah this is a hand this is a hand I I feel like I can win with hmm That's a good spot. I feel like I'm already looking at some of these cards and I'm like, I have ideas where they should kind of default go on the board, you know? I feel like that's a really solid spot for Ifrit always. Mm. Mm. Hello, hello, Xtridity. How you doing? Are you having a pretty solid day so far? Ooh, I saw that one coming. Yeah, we're going with Diablos right here. I think we win. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. Bomb looks pretty cool. Ooh, Tororama? I don't know if I fought any of those in my last playthrough. Are those like, um... Oh, they're like the, the cheetah things in 10, right? Where they zap you and like insta kill you. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like the best one. I think that one's the best one. Bomb looks pretty good. Ooh, bomb does look pretty good. We'll go Tarama. Because we're going to challenge again for Zell. One more time, one more time. I'm imagining Zell's probably going to be her best card. All right, let's see. 
Ooh, we got a Tonberry. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see, Tonberry, you're seven on the bottom. So yeah, we're gonna put Ifrit down here. Oh, no, we're going Mini Mog. We're definitely taking that Tonberry, though. Let's see. Just for future reference, if you don't tell... Don't get the Zell card now, Zell has to be in your party in order for his mom to use that card. Gotcha. We're getting it now. We're absolutely getting it now. We got this. Hmm. Is that a win? I think that's a win. Oh, yeah. We're taking Tom, but Tonberry King. Not even a regular Tonberry. A Tonberry King. Absolutely. Hmm. Okay. Y'all got me. Triple Triad is fun. I think that's the GF card. Really? Really? Do we just get like a super good one? A Tonberry King. It's popping up pretty, pretty close on the page there. Oh, Zell. Zell card, where are you at? Bum, 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 bum. Man, she definitely not be cocky or anything. But uh, I don't think her cards are competing with my cards. I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm Seto Kaiba. And she's Joey. All right. Let's do Quistus right here. <laughs> you get that reference. I love it. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was my jam back in the day. Yu-Gi-Oh was my jam. Yeah, we're going Iron Giant. All right. Let's see, same here. Still have some of my cards. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think literally the only ones I have are, what do I have? I think I have the Time Magician and the Dark Magician Girl. I think those are the only two I still have. And I, I might not even have them. I don't know where they are. But, aha, Zell, my man. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. Okay, okay. We're going to try to stay away from, uh, from that one. Oh, that might not have been the best one. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's go. Let's go here. Okay. 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 Aha! That's what I like to see. She had me. I thought I thought she had me for a moment. Ooh, Chimera and Hexadragon look good. We definitely got to get Zell. Oh, yeah. All right. I think I got a pretty solid starting deck so far, would you say? Would you say? That's the last real rare card until Timber. Yeah, we got Quistus, Zell, Cypher. Diablo secret. My dog's like squeaking his ball back there. It's having a fun time. All right, let's see. Y'all got me. Triple Triad's actually pretty fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around. I'm, I'm not even gonna press X anymore. I'm pressing square. Everyone gets a square button now. What about you? You square? Nope. Hey, how's it going? You know me. I'm always good. Good. Make sure you stop by and say hi to your mom. Alright, yeah, I think that's uh I think that's pretty much everything here. I'm gonna save just real quick out here. I know how Final Fantasy games work sometimes, so. Alright, not bad though, not bad. We got some cool cards. I think we have a hundred of water magic for each person. Yeah. That'll be that's 
equip to their... Oh, except you, Selfie. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna quickly look at some magic. What is this one? If you're planning on following the Queen of Cards side quest, there's a really in-depth guide on that I recommend following. I'm not sure what that is. What's the Queen of Cards side quest? Is that just like getting all the rare cards in the world or something? Do you mind if I send... Oh, absolutely, go for it. Go for it. Let's see, let's switch to life magic. Think that's enough to get a hundred. Nope, okay. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna save that in my Chrome window and then I'll check it out later. Cool, cool. Hmm. So is it like a completely separate side quest aside from just getting cards? It says this, which is coming up soon before leaving Baum for your seed missions. Be sure to obtain Minimog as described above and then lose it. But I like Minimog. Lose it to the Queen of Hearts in Balam outside the train station. Save your game before you challenge her as you may need to save for this one. Oh, so I have to lose it to her? Bummer. I like that card. Not sure what save scum is. At first I thought you like mistyped that. Like, save scum? Save scum, I don't know what that, that is either. You need to buy anything? Let's see. I'm gonna buy some tents, and you all know why. Anyway, to progress, play a match with a bunch of low-level cards in Minimog and deliberately lose the match. This will make a rare card, Kiros, appear later on, and you will have an opportunity to regain Minimog. It's best to do this before leaving Baum for Timber, but you can backtrack to Baum later if need be. Okay, so challenge her, low level cards and Minimog, and lose Minimog. I like my Minimog, but... I trust the king, I trust the king. Alright. I'm just gonna get some Kiragas real quick. I've never done the side quest, so this is new for me. Okay, we'll do it together. I just want to see how much... I think Kiraga is going to go to his strength, so I just want to see how much his strength is going to skyrocket. Oh, it went to his magic. Never mind. I guess putting Cure Magic on your sword might not be the best strategy to go. Eh. Like, a little bit. Nothing crazy. Alright. Queen of Hearts. You wish to challenge me? Alright, let's see. Play a match with a bunch of low-level cards. And a mini Mog. So one, two, three, four. And Mog. Are you sure? Yes. So we'll just put Mog right here. Easy pickings. Easy. Okay. Maybe right here. Even more easy pickings. Let's see. Right here. This is like the worst match of Triple Triad ever. <laughs> Once you lose Mini Mog to her, the Queen of Hearts will leave Balam. You want her to say she's going to Dalit. There's roughly a 33% chance this will happen. If it doesn't, say, go to Dalit, quit, reload, and try again until she moves to Dalit. Okay. So she'll take Minimog. Oh, she didn't even take Minimog. Okay, then. Why, why does she take all of them? Why does she take all of them? Okay, the Queen of Hearts will leave Balam. You want her to say she's going to Dalit. I'm heading towards Dalit. Okay, so we're good, right? She took Mini and quite a few other cards. <laughs> that RNG. <laughs> All right, so we're good, right? We're good. Heading for Dalit. 
probably save now, right? All right, let's see here. Yeah, probably. Good idea. Oh man, I'm gonna miss you, Mog. I'm gonna miss you, Mog. Yeah, she took very blah cards, so it's all good. Mini Mog, though. Okay. Timba time. Timba time. So, and we're gonna get Kira. Oh, yep, and then she's gone. She's off to, uh, she's off to Dole it. The train to Timber is here. Please purchase the train ticket. Please go inside right away. The train will be leaving shortly. Actually, I think I just got paid, which means more tents. some more Kiragas. It seems to be the way to go. Alright. Whoever has HP, no one has HP yet. Yeah, once they get HP, that's gonna, like, skyrocket with Kiraga. Alright. All aboard. Let's see. This train is awesome. A transcontinental railroad, baby. It even runs through an underwater tunnel to get to timber. Pretty cool, huh? Sure is. Squall is so low level. Let's see. Guess you're not interested. I think it's pretty cool, Zell. By the way, Squall. You have to use the ticket to get inside. Okay, we can go inside now. Confirming access granted. Oh, it even says up there on the little right above the door. I think it like scrolls through that. It says it's going to Timber. Unless I might have missed it. Oh, yeah. Next stop, Timber. That's cute. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I ever I don't think I ever caught that in my first playthrough. Let's go check it out, Squall. All right. Yo, check this out. So this is Seed's private cabin. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Awesome! Man, if Zell lived in California, he'd be the biggest surfer bro, right? I love trains. Train, train, take us away, take us away, far away. Alright, Selfie. You're adorable. On to the dream sequence. Heh <laughs> this is so cool. I'm glad you're excited. They even have magazines here. Received Pet Pals Volume 1. A pet magazine. That is absolutely why I joined Seed. This is pretty damn amazing. It pays to be a member of Seed. Squall, you know anything about Timber? Not too much. Thought so. Well, let me fill you in. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. But 18 years ago, Galvadia invaded. Timber fell quite easily to Galvadia. So now Timber is under Galvadian occupation. It said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And... Nope, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all Zell. Hey, no prob. I'm not... Feeling well. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder if Alona's watching them. Like, how does she know to trigger it right here, you know? 
Like, how, do they... Because if you're going to make somebody pass out, obviously you don't want them, like, hiking a mountain, you know? <laughs> I wonder how she knows, like, this is the point to, to send him to dreamland. You should get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. You okay? Hey. Huh? What the... Something's wrong with me, too. I... What's going on? Ugh. Ugh. What is this? See, Selfie's the smart one. She headed for... She headed for the sofa. She headed for the couch. Squall was sitting down and then got up to fall on the floor. Hmm? Aha! My boys! Laguna. Are you sure this is the right way? All right. Make sure we all got our, our goods equipped. Man, the artwork on them too just looks so cool. Like Ward looks like such a badass with that scar scowl on him. Laguna's got the pretty boy hair, for sure. Kiros is just awesome. Kiros is just awesome. All right. I love how I love how Ward one runs too. And if I'm being honest, this is probably my favorite battle theme in the entire series. Like just regular random encounter battle battle song. This is it. This is it. What about you? Let's grab some sleep. Plus, Ward is using a freaking harpoon. Who uses a harpoon as a weapon? It's awesome. Alright. Some stone pieces. Some magic. Oh boy, not again. So confused. They're so confused. Squall, Selfie, Zell, they have no idea what's going on. They're like, this is an extremely vivid dream. Alright. Y'all got the same stuff? Looks like it. imagine if they remade Final Fantasy 8 could you imagine how crazy that would be like, all the question marks my goodness I feel like these dream sequences would just be so cool hey aren't we go here to fight a war you know against the almighty timber army yeah so why are we wasting our time messing with these animals well you see it's just that uh uh don't tell me we're lost again. Anyway, we're going home. Delling City, here we come. Wh wait! Laguna! Here to fight a war, but instead we're going home. I love it. They found their car. Is I mean, isn't that technically like abandoning your post? Like, if you're sent to war or sent somewhere to fight, and then you just decide to go home... Isn't that abandoning your post? I'm just saying. Hey, you can't park in the middle of the street. Chill, man. It's cool. All right, then. How's about a drink? We're not just here for the booze, are we? We've got a war to fight. So we'll get smashed and then we'll charge. Kiros Ward, you two seem to misunderstand. I just want to have a friendly drink with you two.
Oh man. Parking right in the middle of the road. Very classy. All right. Welcome, your usual table is ready. All right, I'm there. Thanks. Is this a dream? Laguna's pretty cute. What's going on? What's happening to me? At ease, man. Man, Ward is like a giant. He's like the same size or same height as Laguna when he's sitting down. We're going all we're going all out tonight, right boys? May I take your order? The usual. Me too. Keep them coming. So Laguna, Julia should be making her appearance soon. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your word. Come on, go wave to her. Give me a break. So you say, but well, we know you'll do it. Oh boy, they all love her, her piano playing. This is really pretty. Soldiers, don't bother me in my time of bliss. To be able to listen to Julia play on a day like this. Oh baby, this is turning out to be a lovely night. Aww. Her red dress is really pretty though. Like she's just really pretty in general. Ah, to be this close to Julia. Is this guy serious? Uh-oh. My leg's cramping up. Ah. Charlie horse. And then they're all laughing at him. I wonder if that's a common thing. Like, I wonder if other people have circumstances like that. Where when they get nervous... Like, they start cramping up. And I love, too, that he just does, like, a full circle. And then he just decides to walk right back to her. Oh. Nope. Then walks back to the table. It was so bad. It was so cringy. Even she had to stop her playing. Oh. Let's see. We're going back to her? No way. I can't bother Julia. Good work, Laguna. Good work, Laguna. Mission successful. Here, have a seat. Mission successful. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Our, pop our, our popularity rating's gone up a point. You didn't even do anything. You didn't say anything, unless they think he said something. Yeah, but you cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. I'd say you're about a negative three on the man manliness scale. Say what you want. And Lena scale. Sigh. Julia sure is pretty. Ah. Uh, huh? Laguna, we're taking off. Hey, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. And who's right behind him? May I? Ah. Uh, Oh, my cramped leg all of a sudden. Did I interrupt anything? No, 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 not at all. P please, sit down. Oh man, oh man, it's really her. What do I do, Kiro's ward? Help, what do I say? But man, she is pretty. I think Laguna's got, I think Laguna's crushing. He's got a crush. You okay now? Kind of. How's your leg? Leg? Oh, this? Yeah, it's it's fine. Happens all the time, but I get nervous. Were you nervous? Oh, yeah. I'm still kind of... Still kind of. You can relax. You don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. And I love it, too, because everyone's just crowded around watching them. Say, would you like to talk somewhere private? I have a room here. In your room? 
Well, it's pretty hard to talk freely here. Everyone's listening in. <laughs> this is like the best part. This is awesome. Trying to have a little romantic conversation and everyone's just... Everyone's just crowded around them trying to eavesdrop in. If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. You don't want to? Uh, of course I do. Make your move, Laguna. And I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? Am I dreaming? This is a dream. No, this can't be a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. Julia wants to talk to me. He talks to himself too much. Is this is this is this squall thinking? Is this squall thinking? Because Squall does the exact same thing, if not more. All Squall does is have conversations with himself in his head. And just the two of us? Get it together, Laguna. Whatever. That's definitely Squall. I always screw up by talking about myself too much. It's always been like that. But not tonight. I'm all ears for Julia. Ah, uh, time to use my manly charm and help Julia with her problem. What problem? She didn't say she had a problem. Pretty bold for just a grunt. Julia this, Julia that. Yeah, I'll fix you. Send you off to war a million miles away. Start working in Antarctica. Welcome, checking in. Which is Julia's room? Ah, Mr. Laguna Lore? I've been expecting you. Let me show you to Miss Julia's room. Thanks for coming. Not at all. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. Let's plop it down. Mm, maybe over here? Mm, nope. Mm, maybe... Nowhere? Going so soon, we haven't even talked yet. No, it's not that. It's just that I'm a big fan of yours, so I'm really kind of nervous, you know? So that's why you come to hear me play so often. You... You saw me? You were always smiling while listening, right? You have beautiful eyes, though they look a bit scared now. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pluck them and eat them. I just wanna talk, gazing into those eyes. Oh boy. Would you like a drink? Wine, perhaps? I must be dreaming. Oh man. Yeah, I don't like fighting too much. We gotta travel, you know, sing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kyrus and Ward are always with me. Hey, we should all go out drinking sometime. What do you say? And, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So I want to quit the army and become a journalist, so I can tell people about all the things I've seen on my travels. He's already loosened up. So like the other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was way cool. I'm happy for you. Oh, yeah. And then, ooh, he is a rambler. Yikes, I'm talking too much again. Let's see, is there anything just kind of lying around in here? I don't know if I ever like walked around and tried to see anything. I mean, he does have really pretty eyes, honestly. Like this greenish Mako kind of glow. Very pretty. All right. Yes? Tell me about yourself, like your dreams for the future. I want to sing, not just play the piano, but sing too. 
Oh, I'd really love to hear it. But I can't. I'm no good at writing lyrics. Hmm. That must be tough. But thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. Thanks to me? Yes. The many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt pain deep inside you. Your smile, your face, your eyes. Man, who's crushing on who more? Is Julia crushing on Laguna more? You've shown me something. I think I can come up with a song. Wow, I must be dreaming. It's not a dream, is it? Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. Uh-oh, can we meet again? Of course, I have to come hear you sing. Next stop, Timber. Timber. <laughs> Poor Squall. Next stop, Timber, Timber. Whoa. Were we all asleep? Maybe someone released some sleeping gas. There's lots of people who resent seed. Maybe. Better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? I don't think so. I don't think oh, I don't think so. What a relief. Everything's cool with me. <laughs> I had such a nice dream. Oh, she likes Laguna. I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. The drum tells some more on. We will be arriving in Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you have all your belongings. But seriously, Sir Sir Laguna was so cool. Hey, there was a Laguna in my dream too. He's a Galbadian soldier, right? Laguna, Kiros, and Ward. Huh? That's it. That's what? There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our first mission. I guess you're right. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to Garden. We should be there soon, eh? Here we go. Psych yourself up, baby. Whew, still sleepy. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. I just wonder why Alone decides to do it right there. What her whole kind of motives are. Very interesting. I wonder if the reason Alone does it is... Does she want to show her story to Squall? Maybe that's her way of, like, communicating with Squall. Like, why does she... Why does she decide to do that? Maybe to make him understand? Because she knows Laguna is essentially the president of the most powerful city. So maybe kind of... Showing his beginnings? I don't know. Oh, the forests of timber sure have changed, but the owls are still around. Welcome to Timber, sir. Come with me. On vacation? That's not fair. My Georgie's in there. I hate this pet shop. Oh boy. Please, please, this way, sir. Yo, what's up, King? Let's see. Be sure to challenge Watts to a game of cards on the Forest Owl's train during your mission. He has the Angelo card. If you miss it here, Watts will also have it on the White Seat ship much later in the game. Okay. We'll get it right away. So, you guys are seeds? I'm the squad leader, Squall. This is Zell and Self Selfie. Nice to meet ya. I'm the leader of the Forest Owls. Very standoffish, Squall. Uh. 
Hello, gazelle. So let's get on with it. What do we do? Just take it easy. Here, let me introduce you. Looks like you already met Watts. I guess it's just our princess then. It's the princess... Princesses nap time, sir. It's a weird word to say. Princesses? Ah, man. Hey, Squall, sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask him if you get lost. He's not happy about this. Were we hired to run errands? Well, uh, are you angry? We're not gophers. We're seed special forces. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Ouch. Oh boy. Oh, yes, let's challenge, uh, let's challenge Watts. You're gonna wake the princess. You've got some guts, man. Our princess is in the room further down. The sound of the train moving. So relaxing. All right. I'm gonna save real quick, and then we're gonna go get the Angelo card. Let's see here. Oh, I'm almost tempted just to skip over all of the the tutorial stuff because it's so long. I might have to do that. Mr. Seed, you seem to know rules unfamiliar to this region. Let's play a game with Balam's rules and ours, sir. You want to play cards? All right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. We got some good cards here. Oh, I don't see Angelo. Got a T-Rex, though. What? Oh, yeah. Let's let's start Cypher right here. That's a great spot for him. Let's see. Inquistus right here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah! Man. Alright, let's... Who should we do? What is that? A Hexadragon? A Blitz? Turtopod? Yeah, we gotta go for the T-Rex, though. Alright. Angelo. We gotta get Angelo, though. Alright. Why are his cards upside down? Why are his cards upside down? That's weird. That's gotta be the Angelo card then. Hmm. No, we need we need Quistus right here. Hmm. It's like it gotta be more defensive, you know? A six? Yeah, he's got nothing that can compete. Hmm. Oh, but then he could get me on that side. Let's see. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, let's do... Let's do Efren. I think we'll... We'll win, yeah, okay. And we get Angelo. Sweet. Nice. All right. Angelo card acquired. I will take it. Good call on that, King. Let's see. Anyone else here got any cool cards you know of? Let's see. Got some guts to wake up the princess, man. Renoa. Hey, you're... You know from the party? So, does that mean you're a seed? I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Jeez. Yes! Seed is here. Take it easy. 
It's just that I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh, so you were looking for the headmaster at that party. So that's probably why she broke off with him and ran away, probably for the headmaster. <laughs> you know Cypher? Yeah. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Sid would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Um, Squall, is he here? He who? Cypher. Cypher? No, he's not a seed. Oh. She's got a she's got a little crush on him. Oh, yeah. My name's so it's interesting that you can name Squall and Renoa, but everyone else seems to be... I think everyone else, aside from the GFs, already have their names in. Very interesting. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. We will fall in love shortly. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of sub truth it's expected of C to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work-related. That's too bad. Oh, and Angelo. The savior of the universe. Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner. Oh, she's a cute doggo, too. She's a cute pup. Angelo's really smart. Here, let me tell you. Oh, boy. Tutorial time. Yes, yes, yes. I'm skipping through tutorial stuff, like, it's too much. It's too much. Layla. Layla. Oh, my dog's all barking. Or squeaking the ball herself. And Angela will learn new tricks. Alright, let's see here. Come on, come on, come on. can learn new tricks by reading pet pals. Smart, huh? I have some important work to do now. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. Oh. Angelo's adorable. Man, this is quite the room for a train. This is quite the room for a train, I'll say. Yeah, I know, I know one of the magazines pops up, because I saw that on my last playthrough. Hmm. Maybe it's before we go do the president stuff. This is Zell. And Selfie. Hi, everyone. This way. All right. Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance to the forest owls will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? It all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vinzer Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Vinzer Delling is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Delling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to... Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher. 
Uh, not quite. So get to the point. Tell us what to do. Shall we begin? All right. This stuff I'm, I'm definitely gonna skip over. This is so much tutorial. Even, even skipping over, I wonder how long it'll take us. Probably what, two, three minutes? I'm just so much. All right, let's see here. We're sneaking into the president, uncoupling the train, and then boom. Yeah, there's chocobos around here too. When I was doing my first playthrough, someone clipped the certain part where the cutscene is and you can see like two or three little chocobos just ever so briefly. Yeah, maybe it's because I didn't do many of the side quests in my previous playthrough, but it felt like there were very little chocobos, very few chocobos, and very few moogles. I think that moogle card is like the first time I've seen a moogle at all in Final Fantasy VIII. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I saw there was a article I was reading yesterday on how to get the Lionheart sword at the very beginning of disc one. Or, well, in disc one, I should say. Man, could you imagine getting the ultimate weapon? Let's see, four, one, one, four. Just getting the ultimate weapon right away. Four, four, one, one, four, four, one, one. Code is 1421. 1421. Code 3 confirmed. You got it? I think we got it. Um, that's all. Yes, and we know the car, we know the, the trains look shabby. Alright. Just gotta be careful, because they're probably gonna be like, do we need to explain that all over again? Yes. No, do not explain it again, please. Okay. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Oh, my stomach. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. All right. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. There's a clipping from a magazine. Anarchist monthly first issue. Galbadia's dictator, President Vinzer Delling special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. Oh boy. An anarchist magazine? What? Okay. I want to just double check. Like that pet magazine's on her bed. I swear I thought it was. Oh, yeah, okay. What's this? Pet Pals Volume 2. Oh. Alright, quick save, and then I think we're off. Time to go. I don't even know. We're not even. Are we kidnapping the president? Are we, uh. assassinating the president? Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look. It's a piece of art. Let's see, are you ready, sir? Yes, I am. Squall over here. The president's private train. We'll catch up with the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should time our jumps well after we catch up to them to save some time. From now we have exactly five minutes to complete the operation. Let's try and use every second. We got this. We got this. All right. All right. Once you completed, hold on. I'll read that. I'll read that in a second for sure. Squall over here. Activating sound sensors, activating temperature sensors. Ooh. Let's see, this is the president's car. After we get across, we'll proceed with the first uncoupling. Alright, let's see. Once you've completed the train mission with Renault, you'll eventually get some world map freedom. One entirely optional place you can now visit is a much more peaceful Dalet. This is where the Queen of Cards now resides. So as long as you lost the mini mod card, the Queen is now inside the Dalit Pub. Speak to her and ask her about her father. Okay. 
All right, we can do that. Sir, everything is in order, sir. You again. That's 27 times now. How many more times do you plan to disturb me with that meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but it is my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. There goes next month's paycheck. How am I going to propose to her now? I'm going to have to put it off again. Poor guy. This is the first escort. We're going to uncouple this first. Like Watt said, there should be two guards on this card. Selfie and Zell, you keep an eye on the guards. Let us know early if you see them coming. Alright, I'll watch the blue guard. And she's got the red one. The red guard is closer. You might want to keep an eye. Pull down L1 to look to your left and release it. Are you ready to enter in the codes? I remember. You have to enter three codes. Get the cable ready. System to enter the code is down there. You can't miss it. Press down to go down. To come back up, press up. You won't be able to come up while you're entering the code, so be careful. Let's do it. We have four minutes left. Good luck, Squall. We got this. Two, four, three, two. Two, four, three, two. Code one confirmed. Two, four, one, four. Two, four, one, four. All right. All right, blue and red coming over, blue and red coming over. All right. Three, 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 two, three, 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 two. Code three confirmed. Squall this way. I think it might be this scene where the chocobos are at on the left oh yeah i saw them for literally a quarter of a second saw them running there we go now we're making ways what should i do i know he's not gonna like it but it's my job sir Everything is in order, sir. Oh, he's not angry. Whew, that's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder where he got it. What? Is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there is nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. S sir, I, I, yes, sir. You, don't just stand there. Get back to your station. Sir, yes, sir. There goes another paycheck. That's two in one day. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I going to do? No ring? And now no more candlelight dinner? I'm never going to be able to get married. Man, if she loves you, she doesn't need a fancy ring and candlelight dinner. She loves you for you, man. Poor guy, right. Right. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards on this car, too. Zell and Selfie are up ahead, working on uncoupling hours from theirs. All right, we got this. So you're on your own this time. Watch your right side to do this hold the R1. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I know, I know. We'll have to enter five codes. All right, showtime. Are you ready, Squall? You have three minutes left. One, four, one, four. All right. Got four, one, three, one. One, three, one. Code two confirmed. Now let's go back up. Comes blue and red. All right. Code is 3124. 3124. All right. Code 4 is 1421. 1421. One more. We got this. 
One, four, three, two. All right, code five confirmed. We're out of here. Squall, this way. All right, president time. Raiders. Cute. Cute. Man, the moon is so big in this one. I feel like I just always see the moon in these cutscenes. This is a gigantic moon for sure. All right, president time. Finally, we've waited so long for this encounter with Vinzer. What a name, Vinzer. Was that perfect, sir? Amazing, sir. You're the best, sir. Your seed rank went up by one. Well then, leave the intelligence up to me, sir. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations? Better make sure my GF's equipped. Smart man. <laughs> I love it. They don't even have their GF's equipped for some reason. All right. They still got their magic though, which is good. All right. Oh. Let's do magic, NGF, and draw. Yeah, we'll have to try out the card ability soon. Turn monsters into cards. So that card ability, is it pretty similar to Morph in Final Fantasy VII, where they have to be like lower health in order for it to work? You can't just start pressing card on everyone, right? They probably have to be a little bit lower health. I would assume, probably. I think so. I feel like that'd make more sense. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna save real quick. We're gonna have serious negotiations with the president. And then we'll be on our way, let's see. All right. You see the clipping on the board in the conference room? Anarchist Monthly used to write special reports about the president. I saw, saw the guy who wrote for that magazine being taken away to the prison. Being in prison for telling the truth. That's downright wrong. That's some like... Yeah. No good. Forest Owls are... Watson's own fathers founded the Forest Owls. Interesting. I love how it says, hear him out when he says just one more sentence. Very interesting. Okay. Serious negotiation time. Ready? Hmm. You want to play cards, sir? You want to play cards while we're about ready to assassinate the president? Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. President Delling, as long as you... Don't resist. You won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what would you do, young lady? What's wrong? Boo hoo, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. You pass along a little false info, and they fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Emma? Chores? Ah, my butt hurts from all the sitting, young lady. Ah, so what did you have in store for me had I resisted? Why don't you tell me? Oh boy. Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? Boss battle! Oh my goodness. You fell for it. He just goes and starts biting Zell. What? Okay. Let's try out Diablos on him. I wonder how 
how good or bad that is. Dark Messenger. I think this is my first time using Diablos too, in this playthrough. I wouldn't be surprised if it does nothing. 70 damage. What? Okay. This is amusing. Isn't it the more you use the GF, the more it levels up, though? Because I feel like on my last playthrough, I didn't get Diablos right away, but I did get him pretty... I mean, like, second disc, I think. And I think even by the end of the game, he was, like, level 20. But he didn't seem to really level up too much. Holy crap. What the... What the is right? Double magic. Let's see. Yeah, let's try to draw just whatever this is. Nice. Ooh. What are you drawing? Berserk. Eh. Not the most useful. Oof. Okay. Ow. Three zombies. All right. Kind of bombard him with some GF love. All right. Definitely getting weaker. Man, the like intestines on him though looks so crazy. It's interesting when you get silence, you can't even draw anymore. Like it doesn't even let you stock up on them. Uh oh. Well, they're not happy about that. I wonder if I could get Renzo on him. It's probably too weak. I don't have I don't have boosts yet. Nope, not a single one. No Renzo yet. All right, is that it? Yep, that was it. Bye bye, Gergero. Is that the same Gergero? All right, Zombie Powder. 20 AP. I'll take it. I'll take it. Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir. New info. It's big news. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. TV station? Why in Timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. You think the Dalit communication tower has anything to do with this? Hmm. What's that? Dalit has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. So that's what that's supposed to mean. They're planning on using radio waves. This way, they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that. What I want to know is, what is the president going to broadcast? Hopefully peace and love. Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everybody, love and peace. If only. If only. They're like, nope. Not happening. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. 17 years. 17 years. Let's see. Hold on one sec. Just want to get a little bit sharper focus. It looks a little bit better. Okay. Been that long? 
Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? If only. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. This is terrible. Just kneel down in a little circle, huddle style. Can you guys give us a minute? Yeah, they're like, I have no idea what's going on. Can't we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Squall? They call that a strategy meeting? Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. <laughs> They're not amused by any of this. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? You probably should have done that, Squall, before you tried to assassinate the president. I'm, I'm just... I'm just saying. Oh, sure. Just rips it out of her hand. What's it say? Balam Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owls, hereafter referring to as Party B, as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. The hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. I mean, I was under- I was following along. Thought it wasn't that- that bad. Sid is such a nice man. What's it say this time? To the forest owls. This seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception, and no replacement of any seed members can be made. Balam Garden Headmaster, Sid Kramer. Until Timber's independence? That is so vague. Hey, you're paid professionals. No complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ow, my stomach. Yeah, she's rolling her eyes too. So the four of us, the ones who will be heading to the TV station, will be... Oh, we gotta have Renoa. Okay. We'll take Zal too. Renoa, you can have Quistus's ma- or er, Selfie's magic. Alright, I guess this is it, since we gotta have Renault in our party. Okay. Let's see here. Let's probably get some Asuna magic on him. Do you not have any Asunas? Okay. Um, what about you, Zell? Hey, you're only poisoned, right? Yeah, so you're good. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. TV station, sir? It's quite close if you take the local train. But the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready, sir? Yep. Best of luck, sir. I'll keep watch here. Alright. Guy dressed as a cadet. Gathering information? He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious-looking characters from Balam. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go to anybody and... Ahem. <clears throat> These are citizens. We can't inflict any. How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Please, hear me out. 
to the very end. Uh, poor guy. Alright. Hmm. Say, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you can find it. What? Come on! The Galvadian soldiers are coming! Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the Owl's Tear, sir. Heard it works wonders. Owl's Tear? I believe you can find it at the old man's house. I guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seized. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey! Don't leave me, sir! Oh, boy. All right. Let's see here. Looks like the trains have stopped running. Usually the local trains would be running here. A lot of hustle and bustle. Oh, all like the weapon shops and stuff. Very interesting. Okay. I think we want to go this way, if I can recall. Oh, battles. Right, there's battles inside the city. Bum, 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 bum. Got any cool magic we can draw, maybe? No, I think I got all of this. Thunder, I mean, maybe a little bit. Okay, what we'll do first is we'll actually... We'll get rid of some, and then we'll... Yeah. Oh, oh, is it, is it... Are we just gonna kill them all? What do you have, like... 70 health, dude? Nope, got all that. Got... Could get some thunder, though. Yeah, let's grab some thunder. Yeah, these are probably, like, the easiest ones to draw magic from, you know? Oh, no more space. Okay. Um, okay, then. Kind of stockpiling some magic real quick. This is the Final Fantasy VIII way, right? Ooh. No more thunder. No more fire. No more blizzard. Get some pure magic, though. Here's handy. No more fire for her. Okay. Thunder time. Alright, we're just raw magic grinding real fast. Never hurts. There we go. Doing good, doing good. Let's see here. Okay, I think Zell, are you maxed out? Yep, Zell's maxed out, okay. And I think we'll call it for, for the draw sash. That was a ton. Let's see here. Oh, Timber Maniacs. It's a lot of old magazines. These are all the battle series. I've read them all. Yeah, I think Blazaga, yeah, I was like, isn't Blazaga around here? I remember this one. It's a random Blazaga. Anything over here? Nothing here. Alright. Received girl next door. Oh my goodness. And I love how he picks it up. He finds a naughty magazine and decides to pick it up. We want to take a look around. We just want to look around. Okay, go on right ahead. Squall's using that charm on her. Let's see. Yeah, I see these Timber Maniacs. Finish reading it. I see these Timber Maniacs magazines everywhere. I wonder if there's any point to, to reading them. Because we always read them and then, they, and then they disappear. 
because Squall is such a speed reader, I guess. All right. Here we already got fire. Let's grab some thunder. Oh, right. nice and easy. Yeah, they must have like 100 HP, if that. Super weak. All right. What? You're walking to the TV station. TV station? We have no choice. The trains aren't running. Let's see. There used to be a way through the back alley of this house. The pub was built around the time they stopped broadcasting. We haven't used the back alley too much since then. Why don't you look through the second floor window? You should be able to see the back alley. Let's see. They fight a lot, but my parents totally get along. I can't wait to meet and meet a great guy I can scream at and exchange blows with. Oh my goodness. If that is not just relationship 101. I can't wait to meet a great guy I can scream at and exchange blows with. <laughs> that sounds really, really weird. I think she's perfect for you, Zell. Want to take a look? Go to that window there. Look out the window. Just peering down. All right, let's see here. That's 10 gil, please. Oh yeah, he's charging us, right. Hey, you at it again. It almost looks like Zell's mom, if I'm being honest, like similar character model. How many times have I told you not to take money from people? Aww, I reduced the price from a thousand gil though. It's not about the money. I didn't raise you this way. I like her. I like her. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> Back to the handstands. It's cute. Just whacking his butt. You guys, watch yourself. Some seedy looking guys were heading toward the pub. The pub is downstairs. I think I smell blood. I hope it's just my imagination. Are you on a date, you ask? Are we on a date, you ask? Does it look like we are? We're on patrol to keep peace in the town. That was too easy, man. For a country bumpkin, he sure had some good stuff. You know, better ease off a little. These timber hicks hate us enough as it is. Let's get them. Why did they just want to just run into me and start fighting? Bunch of bumpkins. All right, Renoa. Draw, draw, draw. Oh, Angelo for the rescue. Well, they must have more than 100 health then. That was 102 and he's still alive. What do they have, like 120? All right. Normal ammo, potions. Ooh, learning our refine abilities. Nice. Received the Buell card. Ooh, and a shop. Cool. Let's see. There are no trains to the desert today. Can we go over here? I don't think I went over here last time. Yeah, nothing around here though, right? Nothing. Okay. What's this? Cure magic. Stock. Six cures. Oh, and we just got paid again. I've had enough of this city. I came from Dalit to have me a good time. And now, trains are no longer running. Can't even stay in a hotel because of some stupid official. Harassed by Galbadian soldiers. Had my precious cards stolen. This hasn't been my day. Those jerks, they think they can use brute force to get anything they want. Hell, this sounds a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because... The resistance tried to kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the trains have stopped. There's Galbadian soldiers all over the place, all because of them. 
Don't they understand I'm the one suffering from their reckless actions? Stupid boneheaded good for nothing resistance. You can just kiss my. Hey! You don't understand anything. The resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing the best they can. It's the Galbadian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. Alright, we're speaking up. How to distinguish the drinks? Well, to make it short, labels are red, green, or yellow. They're either sweet or bitter. You want to go through the back alley? Might be a little difficult right now. He's being pretty stubborn. The guy throws a fit when you try to move him from that spot. What should we do? Yo, sun and showers. Thank you so much for the host, man. Appreciate it a ton. Thank you so much. How you doing? How you doing today? We should talk to him. We need to get through. Jeez, and now I'm getting dissed by some punk. Owner, give me another drink. We'll give him the card. Hope you're doing pretty good, though, son. Appreciate the host, always. Is this your card? Huh? It is. Why do you have it? Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay. Thanks. You know what? I'm feeling generous. So you can keep that card. And also, this one. I'll move out of the way now. Ooh, we got a Tonberry card. Hey, owner. I can't stand up. Can you help me? All right, let's see here. Scary looking mean owner of the pub. Did you hear that from his wife? The owner's actually a mellow guy. Whoa, I'm totally wasted, man. Oh boy. Boy, oh, uh, I feel sick. I drank too much. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, friends, let's see here. So I think I'm gonna save and I am gonna, I'm gonna have to call it for the day just cause I do have some stuff that I gotta, some, what do they call it? IRL, some real life stuff <laughs> I gotta do a little bit more today of. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it for today, but I did have a wonderful stream. Thank you so much, King, for stopping by and chatting with me, son. I know you just hosted me. I appreciate it immensely. Um, but I do kind of got to go do some other things for the day. But I will be back tomorrow. Same time as always. 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, usually to 9 a.m. Just depending how the stream's going. Like today we went two and a half hours. So went a little bit longer. Um, but yeah. Absolutely. Uh, be sure to follow the channel if you guys haven't already. Um, post all the stuff too on my YouTube channel. I'm uploading every single day. Daily content on there. Some old playthroughs. And then I'll be doing some Final Fantasy VIII stuff on there soon. Which is exciting. So, I think I'm going to head out today for, we're going to call it. But, again, appreciate all of you. Son, King, y'all are awesome. I hope to see you all tomorrow, okay? Have a phenomenal day, friends.